Helena. Keith? Keith, are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What about you? Keith, Keith. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Helena, your leg's wounded. Hold on, I'll get over there. Keith, I'm fine. I'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Helena? Wait, Helena, I'll be right there. Don't move from that spot. I'm fine. I swear. I'll be fine. Wait for me, Keith. I'll... Don't worry. I'll... Helen. Lance. D d detective Hey, save me already, damn it! Untie these things! If you want them off that bad, you should have asked me, Lance. Hey, hurry up. Save me, please. Hey there, detective. Whoa there, don't move a muscle. You have to give the bad guy a chance to say some lines. Hurry, Keith! Get me out of here! What a noisy pest you are, Lance. Already forgotten your punishment for howling like that before? Huh? Bad dog. <laughs> Don't move. I already said that, didn't I? If you ask me, detective, photographers are just the worst people in the whole world. They capture the world in their lens and tell the world that this is reality. But it isn't, is it? Reality has pain, it has suffering, and most importantly, it has fear. The public sees this world you're fighting against in a distorted form, thanks to these wretched photographers. So now I'm thinking this coward should be taught what real pain is like. Good idea, don't you think? Now, Lance, you seem like a coward who can only see reality through a lens. So I'll take a photo for you. And I'll put that photo in a frame, hang it up, play some flowers, and pray. On the anniversary of your death. Smile for the camera, Lance.
I'll stop the bleeding. <sighs> what a crappy photo. This is why I hate taking pics of people. Damn it. Why'd this happen to me? Freaking out and howling. What a loser I am. Your life was in danger. I'd be worried if you weren't frightened. And what would you know, huh? When I was new to my job, I got shot in the leg. I lost my cool and screamed, and my boss at the time punched me. Told me that if I freaked out, nobody would trust me. Why are you here, Lance? Oh, hell if I know. I nodded off on the sofa and then, uh, woke up all tied up. You didn't notice being transported here? I said I was sleeping, didn't I? I'll tell you what I know. That man's kidnapped everyone who was on the tour. I haven't found any of them yet, besides you, Brendan, Stevie, and the employees were all killed. Huh? Killed? I slept from 9 to about midnight. Around 12.05, the man decapitated Brendan. Stevie died around 12.20. He was tied to a chair, cut open from his neck down to his back. He was left there immobile until he died of blood loss. Judging from the amount of blood and how much it had dried, the wound was probably inflicted about 30 minutes before I found him. He's s seriously dead? Well, he was still hanging by a thread by the time I arrived. Wasn't there s some way to save him? I'm not a doctor. Even if I were, he'd lost too much blood. So you just stood in front of dying Stevie, calculating his time of death? <sighs> Don't harp on every detail. Lance, can you stand? I'm going to look for the others. You come with me. I can't leave you alone. And what if I can't stand, huh? I'll carry you. Uh, uh, give me a break. Hey, go look for the others if you want. But don't you think it'd be faster to nail that guy down first? Leaving him alone is downright dangerous. This is a hostage situation. Who knows how many others are being slowly killed like Stevie. Catching him is pointless if we can't guarantee everyone's safety. He's already killed several people. I'm playing catch up at this point. I can't suffer any more careless losses. Losses? Huh, that what you call murders. Quiet, stop hounding me. That kind of thing gets the attention of civil liberty groups. Huh? Let's go. Ugh.
Lance, look down that hallway. You mean that doll in the wheelchair? Whoa, it's got a gun. I don't know how the thing works, but we'll be gunned down if we're not careful. So, you be the target for a second. Say what? You want me dead, man? Just stand on that end and block the bullets with this plate. Even a wounded man can manage that much. I'll take care of the doll while you're doing that. Do you realize how stupid that sounds? We'll both die if we're not careful. You've got the physique to hide behind a shield. Get in there and don't get shot. Is that a no? Fine, I'll do this myself. Stand back and watch, you chicken. Hey! Uh, don't scream in my ear. All right, I'll be your stupid target. You better be able to handle that doll. And you never call me chicken again. You got that, you damn detective? Sure, I appreciate it. Always grateful to have a good citizen's aid. Go. You loose cannon. What were you planning to do if I got shot? Let's move. Not going in? If you want to puke, go right ahead. But I'm not going to be the one to clean it up. Belgian Shepherd, huh? That brings me back. Isn't it a wolf? Similar, but nah. Lived on a farm in Montana when I was a kid. There were tons of these guys. The sheepdogs. Cover your ears, Lance. God, you should have told me you are gonna fire that thing. It's like you're trying to freak me out. Do I have to give you notice for everything to keep you from wetting yourself? That seems futile. F forget it. You sure this was the best place for that? There was only one bullet. Should have kept it for later. Couldn't trust someone else to carry a loaded gun around. Just be glad it didn't discharge and blow off a hand.
Hey, Detective. Lance, you're pretty late. Had trouble leading the wounded man along, is it? Listen, Lance, don't get in the detective's way. This game is between me and him, you know. If you interfere too much, I'll punish you again. Get away from there. Oh, how keen, Detective. Just as you surmised, there's someone you need to protect here. Oh, yes, Detective. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Say there were two helpless people in peril. Say you had to save one and just leave the other behind. Who would you save in that case? What if you had to choose between a girl with a bright future or an adult doing good work for society? You bastard! Justice is heartless, you see. It's unfair. It's all choosy. But I'm impartial. I can send these two to hell together. So, detective, which will you save? And don't tell me both. As soon as you raise one, the other will fall. And you know what'll happen down that hole. Don't you? Truth is, though, I know who you really want to save. Oh, how I pity you, Detective. Bye bye now. Hey, you guys okay? Keith, please save Sophie. I'm begging you. No, Papa, don't! Mr. Keith, save Papa! Please! Sophie, it'll be okay. Stay calm. We'll be fine. Don't cry, don't cry. It'll be okay. Whoa! You gonna lift Richard and drop Sophie? You really sure? If the spikes break the table... She won't be hurt. Lance, pull the lever when I say pull. Sophie, I'm going to lift Richard and drop you. No, Keith, drop me, please. Don't put my dear daughter in danger. Quiet. Sophie, don't look down, okay? You'll be fine if you don't look down. You with me? No funny stuff. Don't cry, Sophie. I won't let you die. I won't even let you get hurt. I promise. So believe me, and just don't move. Can you promise me that? Okay. That's a good girl. Lance, are you ready? Yeah. Pull. Hey! Mr. Keith! Are you okay, Mr. Keith? How about you? I I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. But you, Mr. Keith? Glad to hear it. Sorry, little lady, but could you move it? Feels like I'm going to be crushed to death. Papa! Sophie! Oh, Sophie, I'm so glad you're safe. Papa! Papa, it was so scary! Hey, you okay? I had no idea you were gonna... Lance. How's my head look? Huh? Those spikes really grazed it. Wondered if they sheared my hair. Did I go bald? 
<laughs> Don't worry, it's still plenty fluffy. Keith, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. Let's take this elsewhere. Come with me. Lance, how are those wounds? Are you still hurting? Damn right I am. But, I guess it's a little better now. No weird traps in this room. No windows either. Just that one door, in or out. Shouldn't have to worry about that guy ambushing you. I'll go look for the others, so you stay here. Don't leave this room under any circumstances. K Keith, will you be alright? Better than I'd be dragging around a wounded man and a family. Hey! What? Didn't I just tell you to stay in there? Uh, what you said before. Whatever it was. About civil liberties groups. Did I say anything like that? Don't play dumb! You... What do you know? You trying to threaten me? I felt bad for the girl, no doubt. But you went about it all wrong. Sorry, but I just can't approve of that. What? It's your policy not to photograph people. It's not quite accurate, is it? It's not that you won't. You can't. Since you don't listen to what you're told. You don't love scenery. You just hate people. Why do you know that? I didn't say anything about that. You researched? You got your eye on me? Aren't you just some cop? You're not state. How the hell? And that other guy talked like he knew too. What the hell is this? What do you guys know? Done talking. Use that if he comes for you. His big head should be an easy target. Don't worry. It'll be justified self-defense. No tabloid stardom for you. If anyone, it'd be me. I suggest you come up with a quip for the press. The detective ordered me to, say. Or are you more accustomed to being the press? Well, LK... Back in the room. You should follow their example instead of picking a fight with me.